Hello, welcome to Friendship Moments. We're so glad you tuned in today. Today my devotional is entitled, What's in Your Wallet? And it comes from 2 Corinthians, chapter 8, verses 1 through 15. You know, most of us know the historical figure Sam Houston. We know he was a very colorful character. And uh, he was a soldier, he was a politician. And what he, he was best known for was bringing Texas into the Union to be part of the United States. But what surprised everyone was when he gave his heart to the Lord and he became a Christian. He surprised everyone when after, when after his baptism, he wanted to pay the minister's salary. And someone asked him, why would he do this? And he said, my pocketbook was baptized too. <laughs> well, here at the little church by the road, we haven't passed an offering plate and Oh gosh, it's been a long time since before the pandemic, or right after the pandemic had started, so I guess it's about three years ago. But amazingly, our tithes and offerings have increased. We've been blessed to help people through our Friendship Cares ministry and, and in other ways, and it's hard to explain, but the evidence is clear and that it is happening. The conversion of our wallets should be included with our conversion to Christ. The Apostle Paul says in his scripture that it's a test to prove a conclusion. Pass or fail, approved or disapproved. In this scripture, the Macedonian church had passed the test. And they were known for their giving, their, their, how grateful they were. And they were showing these ways. And now Paul was challenging the Corinthians to do the same thing to prove that their love was genuine. And he says, generosity gives proof of your confession to the gospel of Christ. Now in verse nine, he says, for you know that the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sake, he became poor, so that you by his poverty might become rich. You know, if your wallet was Put on the witness stand in a, in a courtroom and would it speak for itself against your confession of Jesus Christ? In other words, would it tell what you are? Let us pray. Our most gracious and loving Heavenly Father, thank you for the many blessings in my life. And I thank you for my cup and my portion and may I always have live my life as a cheerful giver. I thank you for the blessing that I receive when you giving for the right reasons, and that you show me to give not only with my wallet, but with my time and with my words to others. I thank you for what you're doing here by this little church by the road, and may we continue to help others in need, and always give to the honor and glory in doing so. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Thank you, and have a good day.